dividing fractions. We do not divide fractions. We flip, invert, or use the reciprocal of the second fraction and multiply. Example, 2 fifths divided by 3 sevenths. 2 fifths is unchanged. We change the division symbol to multiplication. And then we're going to flip or invert the second fraction. So the 3 goes from the top to the bottom. And the 7 goes from the bottom to the top. So now it becomes 2 fifths times 7 thirds. We check for simplification. And there isn't any. And then we multiply straight across. So 2 times 7 becomes 14. 5 times 3 becomes 15. So 2 fifths divided by 3 sevenths becomes 14 fifteenths. Try this example. 4 sevenths divided by 8 thirds. 4 sevenths is unchanged. We change the division symbol of the multiplication. We invert the second fraction, so 8 thirds becomes 3 eighths. So now the problem becomes 4 sevenths times 3 eighths. We check for simplification. And in this case, we notice that the 4 and the 8 are both divisible by 4. There is no other simplification, so then we multiply numerator times numerator. 1 times 3 is 3. And then we multiply denominator times denominator. 7 times 2 is 14. So 4 sevenths divided by 8 thirds becomes 3 fourteenths. Now if we'd have done it without simplifying early, 4 sevenths divided by 8 thirds becomes 4 sevenths times 3 eighths. Same process. Multiply the top, we get 12. Multiply the bottom, we get 56. And now we have to reduce. We notice that 4 goes into both. And we are left with 3 fourteenths. So we do not divide fractions. We turn it into a multiplication problem by inverting flipping uses the reciprocal of the second 